Hollywood has been propagandized. And it's an interesting thing about the left, you know? One would think that you could look around the world in the recent history of the world, and you would see every time socialism or communism, Marxism, takes root in a country, the country is destroyed in some way. Look at what is happening in North Korea. Look what's happened in Poland when Russia took over. Look what happened in Cuba. Look what's happened in Venezuela. And one would think that they could add it up and say, let's not let it happen here. All these wonderful heroes of mine when I was a kid, all of the great stars of that time, Clark Gable and, and the Tyrone Power and Jimmy Stewart, and all these guys were in the service. And they did dangerous jobs too. But they all served and they were all very patriotic people. And then it came to the 60s and it seemed to fall apart in the 60s. At that time is when this kind of leftism struck and this anti-American feeling was inserted into our society using the Vietnam War. Well, I had a big hit at the end of the 60s, and so I became part of this group of people, these young lions that were coming forth, you see, that were all negative about our country, speaking out about the war. At the end of the war, was marked by the murder of two and a half million people in Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. And the left, the people who were out there, the signs of them, just walked away as, and took this moment as a victory. And I saw all of this carnage and that communism and the communist hordes that created all of that violence uh, were given a pass by this group. So. I went through a lot of things. Even that didn't pull me completely to the right, but I saw a lot of things at that moment, and gradually over the next years, and with the influence of many good people, I came to understand certain things. And the poison that, uh, that I had s seen happen, and that happened actually to me, this idea of propaganda is real and it gets to you. Now, we live at a time now where the media is pouring propaganda into people's homes. Slanders and lies are being accepted as truths. Donald Trump has been a Russian intelligence asset since 1987. We are at war with Russia. The nation and all of our freedoms hang by a thread. It's illegal to possess uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. And all the stuff that's going on further in our universities and in our schools that's damaging our, our children. And this is backed by most of Hollywood. If you're a conservative in Hollywood, you're on the outside. And uh, you don't have uh, an easy chance for a career. You know, people can hire who they want. This is a free country, still. So it's their business. You know, they want, they want to work with certain people and not work with other people. It's okay with me. But of course, there is this kind of bias, and it is reflective of the blacklist that they make such a big deal about. It's, uh, it's just as, uh, as clear a bias as, as that time. You know, when Lenin came to office in the first four years of his reign as the head of the Soviet Union, four million people were starved to death. Ten years later, under Stalin, another six million, at least, were starved to death. They don't know how to govern. They're just no good. You look at what's happening with Joe Biden today. He's destroying our economy. We're looking into inflation. Gas prices are going up. They're not good at it. The only thing they're good at is being destructive, as they showed themselves to be during President Trump's four years. All they did was try to destroy this country and bring down a sitting president. And now you have big tech participating in it. Can you imagine that this cancel culture, they cancel out the president of the United States? What? I mean, it's very, very serious. It's a battle for the truth. But thank God for our, our, our founding principles and our founding documents, and especially the Constitution. Even though it's been eroded and attacked, still enough of it has kept us alive. And I believe that we're going to prevail. That's what I believe. I believe all these wonderful people that have stepped up and can explain things to the American people. And once the, a person gets connected to the truth of things, they don't leave it. The truth is God's truth. Truth is God. Good is God. And we're fighting lies.